thresh out these big ditches. So this is a job creating thing, and I have witnessed it. Uh, so I, I'm very happy to be endorsed by the league, and I understand my responsibility to carry on and try to do some good things for the environment. We, there's a lot can be done because remember, the only thing that's going to get us out of our economic doldrums is jobs. And there's no better place to do that in a place that's badly needed, and that is to wean ourselves from the scourge of foreign oil. Not only scourge of foreign oil because of how filthy the stuff is, the 21 million barrels we use every day of oil, but what it does to the national security of this country. This is more than just a bunch of guys that, that uh, they think they wear green t-shirts all the time. It is a situation that anyone concerned about the security of this nation should be an environmentalist. Everybody. We have all these veterans out there. If they want to take care of future generations, join us in being environmentalists because it's going to make our country more secure. We are never going to be, safe, be a secure nation as long as we're using 21 million barrels of oil every day. I'm told I'm supposed to take some questions from the press. Any questions? Um, question regarding clean energy. Um, I understand you and the governor have been working at, for a while at uh, trying to get... Uh, Me and the who? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, governor Gibbons, sorry. Governor uh, Jim Gibbons of Nevada has been working at trying to get uh, some of those clean energy jobs um, in a larger... Um, Would I, you mind my asking, what has he done? Yes, and I actually, well, I wanted to see... Why don't you tell me what he's done? Because I haven't seen it, so tell me about what he's done. That's actually what I wanted to ask you. I've answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have, what are some of the specific ideas you have for creating jobs in this realm here in Nevada? Well, uh, I think that, that Chad explained it pretty, about as well as anyone could. Uh, we have the ability now to do things we could never do before because small business can participate in these programs. I mean, we have people now, like me, putting these solar things on their homes out. You know, my, one of the things I noticed, I'm not with my windmill, it's not up yet, but with my solar, it cut my electricity and searchlight by two-thirds. I mean, you know, uh, searchlight's cold in the winter, it's not like Las Vegas, hot in the summer, um, and I haven't had it up that long, but I was paying my bills, I pay my bills online. I thought, oh, man, I must made a mistake here. And I didn't, oh, no, I got my solar deal there. So that's what this is all about, creating, creating jobs, saving money. And there, we have lots of programs. For example, one of the things, and the reason I was a little curt with my friend back here, we have money that's now available in the state of Nevada to retrofit buildings. We have energy inefficient buildings, especially residences. And we have money here in Nevada that hasn't been spent yet. We've been playing around with it for a year, trying to figure out how to spend it. And that's why we haven't had much help from the governor in getting that money. How do we get to that next step where we do spend that money and start creating those jobs? Now, sadly, a lot of our programs are through the governors. Now, we are trying to do programs that don't go through the governors. We have things up. Called Tiger Grants, go directly to cities and counties. We found them to be very, very successful because we avoid political situations like this. What's happening here in Nevada? There is a dispute between the governor and the unions. He does obviously like unions, so there's nothing being done. And under the law, we can't can't get around that. And that's such a shame. So uh, we have that. <clears throat> we have something that's in the job bill. We're going to vote on Monday night called Build America Bonds, that those are also, they call it also created jobs here. So we have some things trying to uh, streamline how we get the money <coughs> to people like Chad so he can go out and hire them instead of 10 people, uh, 20 people, you know. Senator, how do you, you, you were talking about the people of Searchlight, but I don't think it's just the people of Searchlight. I think the people all across Nevada embracing green energy, solar energy, new new energy at all. How do you address the citizens that live in this state to embrace this change? Maybe gaming isn't the future. Is this the future of the state of Nevada? One of the remarkable things done as a result of the recovery bill that we passed took place in Las, uh, 30 miles out of Las Vegas. I did a press event there about a month ago, and as the setting for that, I went to the Harry Allen uh, natural gas fired plant that's going to be built there. 700 people are working there. It'll be the cleanest natural gas uh, 
electrical generating facility in America. That was the background. And that was good. I was glad I was able to see that. But really, that was the background for an announcement made by MP Energy, LS Power, the Western Area Power Administration, and me. And what we have done has put together a deal that allowed to be built for the first time in the history of the state of Nevada a power line from the north to the south. What does that mean? It means in three years, Nevada will be energy independent. And what else does it mean? It means that not only can electricity be uh, transported from northern Nevada to southern Nevada, but the second part of this, and part of the agreement, is then we're going to bring electricity from northern Idaho clear down here. What does that mean? It means that the vast space between Las Vegas and Ely, which is a lot of desert, now can be used. We don't have geothermal in that part of the state, but we have lots of wind, and we have lots of sun, especially lots of sun. And that will allow not only Nevada to be energy independent, but allow Nevada to make money selling energy to very, very hungry for electricity, California, and other places. So, that, and that's the first project of its kind. Uh, the, we, the Western Area Power Administration the leader was there. They can, and they've agreed to do, uh, offer low interest rate loans to have this project completed. This project, the first leg of it, is $700 million dollars creating hundreds and hundreds of jobs. That's just for building the power line. And that doesn't take into consideration the uh, solar projects can be built there. And one of the interesting things I've learned, one of the, uh, um, someone interested in solar energy said, you know, we're looking at a place at Tonopah. And I said to him, Tonopah, it's so cold there. He said, it doesn't matter. The sun shines all the time. And that's, it's the higher you are, the better it is for elevation. So there are a lot of good things happening in Nevada with renewable energy, and people need not be afraid. Uh, I went and visited, I stayed for a couple days with Barbara Boxer. She has a home in Palm Springs. Palm She's a center from California. And as you drove there, there are all these big power lines. I kind of like them. They look fine to me. They're no noise, and they're creating electricity. And every one of those power lines I see, I see somebody from the Middle East can't buy a Cadillac. Uh, let somebody else buy their oil. We shouldn't be buying their oil. They're not friendly nations to us most of the time. Well, I don't see why we should be trying to uh, help Chavez from uh, Venezuela to castigate us. So I'm happy to see windmills and big solar panels. So in your opinion, this is a nonpartisan issue? Can it be a nonpartisan issue? It, sh it should be nonpartisan. The people who care about the security of this nation shouldn't be Democrats or Republicans. It should be people who really think of ways to make our country more secure. I repeat, how can we be a secure nation when every day, with no vacations, no weekends off, we're using 21 million barrels of oil a day, and we're having a little downturn right now, but we're going to be using, we're using 21 million barrels a day, but Tommy picks up we're going to be using more and paying an arm and a leg for it. So, um, no, it should be totally nonpartisan. It's a, not a partisan issue. It doesn't mean the league is not a partisan. They, they support Republicans. 